One of the most intimidating shots that you face when you're on the golf course is when you have to go over something like a bunker, maybe even a stream or some sort of body of water from about 30, 40, 50 yards. It is crushing you, but it's not going to crush you anymore because I'm going to tell you why you're struggling and how to get out of that. And remember to like and subscribe to the channel to understand. So let's take a little peek here at what we've got. And you can see here, I've got a bunker. It's kind of a raised shot. There's a flag over. I mean, this is one that you're going, man, there's rough all over the place. And by the way, in this, I got a little bit of a tighter lie. I'm in the fairway. That adds sort of even more challenge for you because you don't have any help. You got you to get this ball up in the air. If it's in the rough, you can get underneath. It'll go up. Okay, great. But no, on the fairway, ah, what do I do? Okay, calm down. Let's talk to ourselves. Don't listen to ourselves. Let's talk to ourselves. First, what do you have to do? You got to make solid contact. That's the first thing you have to do. You make solid contact. Now, why do you not make solid contact? Because what happens to you is you think over, your brain immediately thinks up. It's spelled O-V-E-R, but what it really is is up. You keep thinking up. And so what you do is you start trying to lift this ball up into the air and your body is falling back and away. And so when we go back and away like this, now all of a sudden we're hit a bullet into the bunker. And if it gets through, you're like, oh man, I was lucky. But it doesn't get through. It rolls up there and then it rolls back down and now you're just on your way to making a big number. Here's the other thing that happens to you. You might have the proper technique, which we're gonna talk about. You sit here and you think about this shot and you go, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. And you hit this shot up into the air, but it ends up in the bunker. That one didn't plug, but many times it does. How do we get to a point where we make solid contact, but we also get it up onto the green? Well, you gotta do a couple of little different things. I'm gonna get to contact here in a second, but I wanna talk to you about the speed of the club head and ultimately the speed of the golf ball. So watch what happens here. I'm gonna hit this shot. I've got my 58 degree wedge here. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna hit this. I'm not gonna worry about the going up thing, okay? All I'm gonna do is just hit this. So I hit that shot there. now. That one didn't get out of the bunker, didn't get over the bunker, but what I want you to pay attention to is this. That club head speed had 46 miles an hour, and it, the ball speed had 42 miles an hour, and it wasn't enough. What do you think is gonna happen when I open up that club face? So let's find out. So I'm gonna try to create speed that's around 46 miles an hour with this open club face. What's gonna happen is, because I have more loft, the ball speed's gonna come down. So here, ball speed goes down to 40. So I got this one at 48 miles an hour, not bad. The ball speed dropped to 40. That didn't get on the green. Yeah, I know it didn't go in the bunker, but it didn't get on the green. Now the other one would have, if it hadn't have hit the bunker, would have gone through the green. Okay, so what we have to realize is, is that as I open the club face, I lose ball speed, which is actually a pretty important thing to remember because when we open the club face, which we need to get this ball to get up into the air, I'm gonna lose ball speed, which what does that mean? Hit it harder. I'm gonna hit it harder. So now, I'm gonna try to get this club head speed to 55, 56. Now I know many of you are going, well, I don't have a launch monitor, I don't have a simulator. Hey look, when I'm on the golf course, I don't have it either. But what you have to remind yourself is don't be afraid to hit this thing. So I'm gonna open up the club face here, but now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit it. So let's see if I can get 55 miles an hour of club head speed out of this thing. Oh, even better, check it out. This is awesome. So I got 60 miles an hour of club head speed. In fact, 62 miles an hour. But I only got 42 miles an hour of ball speed. So I hit that thing harder and I got the 42 miles an hour of ball speed and it flew 31. The shot's 40 yards. I didn't get it to the hole. But I got it over the bunker. I got it on the green. I've got a putt. You will too. Don't be afraid when you open up this club face to swing this harder. Try it again, see if I can get this thing up there and that, I was just trying to get 55 and I got 62. So this one here, 
That's it. So I got 55.6. Not quite as open a club face. This is 55.6. The ball speed went up to 52 or 42.5, which is what I need to get that thing on the green. I need that thing to be at 42 so that I can get that on the green. Okay? Swung up to 56 miles an hour to get it there so that thing would jump up into the air. That launched at 34 miles or 34 degrees on 56 miles an hour. Now watch what happens when I take this thing square and try to get this thing to 56. Yeah, you know what's going to happen. This is probably going to go over a little bit lower, but the ball speed's going to jump up square. I tried to get it to 56. I got it to 53. Put some spin on it. But look at what happened. And this is the fun one. So I, I've had 62 and it's gone to 42. This one there, at the, the one before was 56 and it was 42 and change. This is 53, but because my club face is square, the ball speed is at 52, which is way too fast for what I need here. Now I was able to spin that one, fortunately, but many times you're not. Okay, so don't be afraid to open up that club face and definitely don't be afraid to hit it hard. Now. What we got to do is we got to make solid contact. Why do we struggle with the contact? The reason why we struggle with the contact is our body is moving around. Most specifically, it's going backwards and staying backwards so we can go up into the air. Okay, and what I want you to do is I want you to let your weight stay forward. Set it forward and stay forward. So what I like to do is just feel like I've got a little bit more forward weight, 60, 70% in here like this, and then stay there. Stay there and stay there. So face is a little open, we're leaning in. Now most people think, well, you gotta lean in, you're gonna hit it lower. And what I'm saying is lean in to hit it higher because you're gonna let the club in the loft and the openness and the fullness of the motion jump that thing up into the air. And that's gonna help with the impact point. So we set into that forward leg a little bit. Again, not a lot, just a little bit. And then face is open. And we're gonna go try to get to 50. 556 and there we go there's the shot straight up into the air stops nicely 59 miles an hour on that that ball land that ball landed at, at 39 rolled out to 42 so i had a 40 a 40 yard shot i'm gonna have a six seven footer back up the hill not afraid of that putt i like that shot set that weight a little forward keep that a little bit forward how do you do that one of my favorite little drills Hit some shots, standing on your lead leg just like this. Put your trail leg right behind, and then swing and hit it. So you get in here like this, put that back there like that. Fire that thing up into the air. Don't be afraid to go at it. That one there is 40, 56 and a half, call it 57 miles an hour, 46 miles an hour ball speed. That shot went 41 yards. Why did that happen? Because I didn't move around. I was able to make the impact point really solid. I was able to get the contact point on the face where I wanted to. And now all of a sudden that thing jumps up into the air, 33 degree launch angle. So you do this little, and this is how I would do it. If you struggle with this, take a practice swing just like this. Feel your weight over that foot. Now get in here, open the club face, lean into that, weights over that lead foot. It doesn't move at all. Fire that thing up into the air. Really good shot there. 59 miles an hour of club head speed, 45 miles an hour of ball speed. Each and every time it's going over the bunker. I'm not trying to hit it over the bunker. I'm letting the loft of the golf club and also to the opening of the face, fire that up into the air. Feel confident with staying on your lead leg, your lead side, and not letting it waver all over the place. Don't let it fall back. Don't try to get it up into the air. Make sure you have that. And then the second thing is swing harder. You swing harder with good impact point, you're gonna increase club head speed. The ball speed will be the right speed for you to be able to get it up onto the green. All you're trying to do is give yourself a putt. At this particular point, you just wanna eliminate that bunker and get it up onto the green. Do those things, I promise you, this shot will no longer be a problem. To improve all parts of your game, subscribe to my channel and click the link below.